The next problem, again connected to the calculation of expected return and standard deviation only. The problem goes like this. During the last five years, the returns of a stock are as follows. The years given here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, for 5 years and the returns are given as 7, 3, minus 9, 6 and 10. So for the third year, it is a loss, it is not a profit. For the remaining 4 years, it is profit. So when you add this and minus 9, you are going to get 17. So we have to add all these, that becomes 26, 26 minus 9 is 17. So first we have to find the total of returns. Total of return will be helpful for us to find out the expected return. So 17 divided by 5, we are going to get 3.4%. So 3.4% is the average return. With the help of that, we have to go for calculation of deviation from average. Average is nothing but 3.4. So this is nothing but average. So R is return. We'll calculate deviation. So for that, first you can substitute. It becomes easy for you. Minus R bar 3.4. Minus 3.4, minus 3.4 like that. It becomes easy for you to calculate the difference and it also saves time for you. 7 minus 3.4, it is 3.6. 3 minus 3.4, minus 0.4, 9. Minus 9, minus 3.4, we have to add both because both are minus, minus 12.4, then 6 minus 3.4, 2.6, minus, uh, sorry, 10 minus 3.4, that becomes 6.6. .6. So that is the deviation from the mean values. Then we have to go for d square, squaring all these d values. So 3.6 square 0 minus 0 0.4 square minus 12.4 square 2.6 square 6.6 square so we have to multiply the same values there in 3.6 square will be 12.96 minus 0 0.4 into minus 0 0.4 that is going to be plus only 0 0.16 next minus 12.4 into minus 12.4 153.76 2.6 into 2.6 6.76 6.6 into 6.6 or the square of 6.6 43.56 so because we have done the d square all in plus values we have to add all these to get deviation square total the deviation square total is 217.2 so this deviation we will take it for the calculation of standard deviation. So the formula summation d square 217.2 divided by 5 minus 1 whole square. So 217.2 divided by 4 then do the square root you will get the value 7.36 percentage as the standard deviation. Again in this problem please observe Probability values are not given. So without probability values also we can find the risk value in this problem that is risk value is standard deviation.